SCP-9001 Incident Log Incident 9001-A SCP-9001-9 broke containment after D-3817 opened the door during testing, leading to SCP-9001-9's escape. SCP-9001-9 killed 60 class personnel, including D-3817, also killing two guards in the process. SCP-9001-9 flew out of the facility and went over a small village, attacking and injuring three, and killing four. SCP-9009 then hit rising terrain, causing it to land. All bystanders were given class A amnestics, and SCP-9001-9 was put back into containment. Incident 9001-B SCP-9001-31 broke containment after flying at a high speed into the cell door. After busting down the door, SCP-9001-31 flew down the Ketterwing at about 200 miles per hour, damaging the Ketterwing, destroying the Tesla gate, and injuring nine guards, killing two in the process. SCP-9001-31 then flew into the sky and reached the atmosphere within 22 minutes. SCP-9001-31 then started dropping bombshells of unknown origin. The bombs hit three cities, killing 39 civilians in the process, and injuring 19. The survivors and bystanders were given Class A amnestics, and SCP-9001-31 was scheduled for termination after being caught. Incident 9001-C SCP-9001-10 SCP-9001-23 and SCP-9001-89 breached containment after a failure to check the cells. SCP-9001-10 broke the ceiling, flying up into the air, attacking Foundation staff with hostility. Helicopters were dispatched to contain SCP-9001-10. SCP-90010 killed several personnel, with most being D-Class and MTF personnel. SCP-9001-10 was then contained after the Foundation kill switch was activated. SCP-9001-89 broke out of its cell after constantly ramming into an exposed part of the cell, eventually creating a hole its size. SCP-9001-89 then took flight, being chased down by personnel. The pursuit lasted 5 hours, and SCP-9001-89 traveled 18 miles, until being caught after being hit by the temporary EMP wave by the Foundation kill switch. SCP-9001-23 hit an exposed part of the cell door, breaking it. SCP-9001-23 then flew up into the air and attacked a plane full of civilians. Unlike the other SCP-9001 specimens, the kill switch EMP was unable to reach SCP-9001-23 because SCP-9001-23 was too far away. SCP-9001-23 violently attacked the civilian plane, causing it to crash, killing everyone inside. MTF personnel were given permission to terminate SCP-9001-23. SCP-9001-23 was chased into a populated city. SCP-9001-23 then started crashing into major buildings and dropping bombs on civilians. One of the bombs gave birth to several SCP-9001 specimens. Several uncontained SCP-9001 specimens flew into the city and started attacking the city, killing blank people in the process. All bystanders were killed and the city was destroyed. SCP-9001-23 and the uncontained SCP-9001 specimens moved on to another city and an evacuation protocol was given to other nearby cities. The SCP-9001 specimens started preying upon people and livestock, hijacking fuel in the process. Morgan, blank, the leader of the hunting operation, was grabbed by an uncontained SCP-9001 specimen and was killed and consumed by it. SCP-9001 was reclassified as Keter, and researchers feared a possible XK-class end-of-the-world scenario. More cities were destroyed, approximately blank, were destroyed within a time span of three days. All blank new SCP-9001 specimens were contained.
and SCP-9001-23 was terminated with an anti-tank missile.